Yeah, I think the mood's pretty good. We're happy with the result. We did what we said we were going to do going into the game. We wanted to start fast, um, which I thought was great, and then sort of show our fitness in the second half. So we scored a, a few really nice tries. Um, really enjoyable day, I thought, and yeah, nice to be back at Murrayfield. Congratulations again. It's obviously a huge game uh, this weekend. We're massively excited for it. We, we obviously came up against them in the World Cup. We are a better side now. You always want to play against the best teams in the world. Uh, it's, it's a huge challenge and I think it's, it's something that we're really, really excited for. Nothing was really going on Friday, so she gave me her blessing to go and play. Like she was getting a bit fed up, fed up with me in the hospital, so I uh, managed to get to the game. And then, yeah, they were born on uh, Monday morning first thing. So, uh, yeah, couldn't be happier to, first of all, get the win for Scotland, but also have two happy and healthy babies and mums doing well too. Yeah, today was really good. Um, the weather turned out nice, which is always always a positive. Tomorrow's a physical day, be a bit more uh, fine tuning, um, but yeah, can't wait for the weekend. That's it, let's just all get on the same page before the last session tomorrow. Yeah. Sweet. <coughs> you yeah. We obviously know the threats that they pose across the board. We'll be training to sort of combat those threats, like a lot on mostly focusing on ourselves uh, and what we can do in those situations to, to be better, I guess. It's obviously great having the Exiles available to us. Probably a couple of changes in the team this week, but I think yeah, going into it, we're confident um, with our squad and, and going into this game um, and the plan we have. It's been good. Saturday, Sunday game, give us an extra day to prepare. So. Um, I think we had kind of front loaded the week with all the, the detail, which was then good for our Thursday session. Um, today was all about just making sure everyone's confident going into tomorrow and everyone's got their, their role clarity. So overall, it's been a good week and I think we're, we're ready for tomorrow. It's your first involvement of the Autumn Nation series. How much are you looking forward to it? Yeah, it'll be great. I mean, I love playing here at Murrayfield. I love, love playing for Scotland, so it's great to be back involved. Um, the last time I was playing here was Six Nations a while ago, but um, no, it's great getting back. I'm looking forward to, to seeing all the fans coming here and hopefully it's a, a good game. And the first week for you that Sione's been the captain, how's that been? Oh, it's been fine, it's been good. Um, you know, I love Sione as a guy, we got on really well and I'm there to support him and, and help out as much as I can. Um, he's been great this week and, and last week. Um, so it's been good this week being in the same team as him and kind of fine-tuning a few things this weekend. But uh, overall, it's been good, good having him there. South Africa tomorrow, what do you make of them? Oh, well, they're, in my opinion, one of the best, if not the best team in the world just now. Um, you know, they won the World Cup last year, so I think everyone knows enough about them. So I, th I suppose for us going into this game, you know how tough it's going to be, how physically challenging it's going to be. And, you know, we need to be at our best if we're going to win this game. So it's a, a brilliant challenge for us and where this team's hopefully pro progressing too. So I'm looking forward to how we, how we play tomorrow. And a sold out Scottish gas party field. How much are you looking forward to that? Yeah, it's brilliant. I think uh, Fiji was sold out, was sold out, out tomorrow and then... Uh, Who's just Australia are sold out already, so hopefully we can we can get enough people in here for the for the Portugal game and have four out of four sellouts, which will be brilliant for us as players, showing the support that we've got behind us. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it tomorrow. Across the board, they're strong. Um, they've got a great set piece, um, a really well structured sort of kicking game. But again, out wide, they've got the backs to to score really exciting tries as well. So um, yeah, they've got threats all across the board. Um, so it'll obviously be a tough game, but. Um, it's a, it's a good challenge and we're up for it.
first thoughts are just an unbelievable effort from the lads today. I thought physically we turned up for, for 80 minutes and um, you know we went we went toe to toe with them for a long period of that match. Um, I think when we look back, we'll probably see a couple of opportunities that we missed and, and didn't quite take uh, take our chances. But you know, I think we can be proud of the performance and definitely, um, you know, we can have a look at what we can improve on for the next two matches. But um, you know, credit to South Africa for how they played and the way that they played the game. And you know, it's always a fantastic game against them. And obviously then looking ahead to those two matches against Portugal and Australia, what would the main focus be going into that? Um, I think, again, two brilliant opportunities to play at home. Um, you know, just to get to be here for, for four straight games is amazing. Um, I thought the fans today were exceptional and the atmosphere before the game, you know, even now after the game, um, I just think the support here is amazing and to get to play here is an absolute privilege. So um, for me, you know, it's just a great opportunity to have two more games at home and hopefully we can put on a show and um, you know, give the fans something to cheer about.